I saw you uh, with your eyes mm. strategically focused on them, <laughs> listening to every word they had to say. Yeah. Um, what did today's testimony do for you? I I was like angry. Um, I was confused how people could go down that rabbit hole that they were in. One of the gentlemen, he stated today that uh, he doesn't fully believe the election was stolen. Like, fully? What do you, what's left? What, do you, what more do you need? And at the end of it, he came in, I guess, apologized to all of us afterwards. He should apologize to every American citizen that was affected by that day. And I think he should have done that. Um, I'm not ready to give out credit or kudos to any of those guys for coming forward. But you did shake his hand. Reluctantly. Um, it talked about uh, his life was ruined. And I want to talk about somebody's life is ruined. You know, sitting next to Officer Fanon was Aaron Smith, whose husband, Jeffrey Smith, committed suicide after January 6th. So you want to talk about somebody's life in ruins. I'm sorry, I just didn't feel any sympathy for him having to sell his house and getting fired from his job. Knowing that the president did not, everybody was calling for him to end it. Mm -hmm. What does that make you feel like? How does that make you feel? Betrayal. Betrayal, like I said, I, before January 6th hearings and all that happened, I knew that, well, I had an assumption that that's what happened. But now the committee, is, their, their work has confirmed it. It's no longer like a thought. It's just not a suspicion. It's confirmed and that's just betrayal. And that's one of the toughest feelings I've ever had to deal with in my life is the feeling of betrayal.